in Peru, the origin of Bubla. How are you, my brother? My man, I'm good. How's everything with you in Trinidad? All is well thus far, man. We've been dying to have you back here in Trinidad. The people love you. I know, I know. Maybe Carnival, maybe, maybe. I think it's uh, it's like five months away, man. Yeah, I'm holding you to that, you know. Yeah, I, I might fly <laughs> in for the day. Super surprise. No one noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Hook me up, brother. Call me up. You know, we're going to, it's going to be lit. Yeah, so you were here uh, like a month after I got back from Trinidad. You came to Miami with Candice, and we did 96 hours together. We did four restaurants. So we did uh, 107 Taste. So we did Asian. Then we did Haitian at ne Naomi's. Ne uh, Naomi's. Naomi's. Then we did Barbecue, barbecue and barbecue Crab and Company. Yes. Yeah. And then we did, uh, the last one was Sergio's for Cuban. So we did a big mix, right? So it's Asian, Haitian, Cuban, and barbecue. So what, what left you in awe? To tell me, the, just thinking. You know, I, I haven't been to Miami in a little while. So when I came a couple months ago, I was really looking forward to food and, of course, meeting up with you. Um, we started off with uh, 107 and Taste, and that was truly amazing because, I mean, Asian food is definitely my favorite. I like Indian, Asian, Japanese, Thai, all these different things. But I must say that when we went to Barbecue and Craft later on in the week, it just blew me away because top-notch barbecue is something that is so hard to nail in different states. And when you think of Miami, Florida, you don't necessarily think of like top-notch barbecue. You think no. of great Latin American cuisine and all this great stuff. But Barbecue and Craft, I love their dinosaur ribs. You remember those, didn't you? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, man. And I, I wish we would have gotten one day later. We would have had the, the alligator, man. Thanks, thanks a lot, David. I really appreciate our 96 hours. You had me going for those days, just eating every single day, but that's what I had you doing in Trinidad, nevertheless. So it's like, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Next time we do, we do it bigger, I take you some more unique spots. But you know, before we do that, let me get to the video 96 hours with Chef Jason Peru and Candice Mohan right here. Enjoy the video, guys. Let's go inside. I'm hungry. All right, so straight to the kitchen. Follow me. My friend, how are you doing? Hey, how are you? Very good, you? Awesome. Over here we have basically for the ramen, for this the ramen. area, right? Yeah. And then what is he making over here? It's like a steel fry, some uh, noodles, steel okay. fried noodles or taboki. Okay. Or the, yeah, they just the chip that we prepare everything here. So super hot wok, he's going to throw super some oil wok, and we're going to yeah. start cooking, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready to go, chef. Woo! Look at that. So right here, he pulled out some beautiful noodles and he's making pad thai. So that is a staple dish from Thailand. I actually didn't really eat it that much in Thailand. I eat a lot more in America, right? Yes. Here in this part of the world, this is what people eat when they go to Thai restaurants. It's one of the best Thai dishes and they're saying theirs is very unique, right? And oh, he added some spice there. Yeah, they, actually it's not spicy. That's not that's spicy? That's sauce. Okay, it's a sauce. Also oh, some, some shrimp, some bean sprouts. So the shrimp pad thai. I love this dish from Korea. House made kimchi. So this is spicy, basically fermented cabbage, right? Yeah, it's our homemade, yeah. Wow, looks so good. Oh, it's gonna be so crunchy, juicy, moist. Yeah. This is perfect. perfect. Give me this all day. <laughs> all day. Sure. That's nice. No water is very Next, we're doing takpoki. Takpoki is my favorite dish from Korea. It's basically sticky rice cakes. Sticky rice, yeah. That's it, and some spice. Yeah. Oh, and there we go, the rice cakes. What else is in there, an egg? Yeah, with a bubble egg. We just added the dojon sauce. That's homemade here. It's not too spicy. It's uh, a little more sweet, right? I oh, so they added barbecue pork here, guys. Also, oh, he already added sesame seeds. It's not just your ordinary rice cakes with the sauce. This is mixed with vegetables. We got protein, we have egg in there, some sesame seeds, and scallions. That's it. And over here we have? We have the takoyaki. Takoyaki, guys. Yeah. Japanese dish. These, these shavings are fish, right? Yeah, like a uh, fish black something. Here we have two ramen dishes. One of them spicy, the other one's not. So which one's this one? This one, the Hell's Ramen. Hell's Ramen. So it's super spicy. You, I choose extra spicy for you. Extra spicy? Yeah. You didn't have to. Yeah, the protein, I choose uh, the shrimp tempura. Okay. Very uh, crunch and crispy because deep fried. So shrimp tempura, we have bamboo shoots, 
Yeah. So mushroom, then we have uh, some seaweed, we have some egg that's like still runny. Yeah, the runny egg, and like, uh, we also put it in deep, dipping for the soy sauce. Okay, so kind of that's why the color is like that, right? Yeah, so it has soy sauce. Yeah. And then this one is? This one is tonkatsu ramen. Tonkatsu ramen. Yeah. So this one has pork belly, egg, um, scallions, same thing, right? Also yes, the, the same one. So Almost our same. customer they can choose what um, any protein they want. So we have chicken or pork belly or shrimp tempura or, wow. or beef. So they, they can customize what they want. Yeah. The full taste of Asia right here. And this is bibimbap. This is a rice dish from Korea. So it's white rice. We have some chicken. We have fried egg on top. We have kimchi. We have salad. We have sprouts. And we have a nice spicy sauce. Always spicy sauce. If you've never been to Korea, that is one of the spicier eating countries in Asia. There in Thailand, for me, are the spiciest. <laughs> yeah, this side's is perfect, spicy. It's perfect. So, are you ready for this? Whoa, uh, this looks amazing. Look at the tempura there. Yeah, it's tempura. I'm so ready for this, David. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh, a feast is before us. Look how good this stuff looks. Oh, wow. And there's more. I think this is Peba for making David eat 21 dishes in Peba. <laughs> I think there's more. Yeah. And lastly, we're doing the Chinese pork buns. I love these. I can have one every single morning in China. Shanghai, this is my jam. Shanghai, you have a Shaolongbao? Shaolongbao. Oh, that's different. That's different. That's different. Yeah, this one. So these pork buns come with braised pork, got cilantro, cucumber, some sauce, and a nice fluffy bun. Very creamy dish. Takoyaki, fried octopus balls. So they fry the balls, then they put them on this beautiful plate with a few different sauces. I think it's like mayo, right? Spicy and mayo, yeah. Spicy mayo, and then we put bonito flakes on top, so fish flakes on top, and you can see them, they're moving. So it's already hot, they throw some, uh, some seaweed on top as well, and it's ready to go. This is an amazing quick bite in Japan. I love this. And thank you so much. Cheers, thank you, thank you. All right, we're ready to go. Okay, Jason, this is intense, my man, intense. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different dishes. We have four different countries. It's a new record for you, right? Uh, <laughs> in terms of countries at one seating, yeah, for sure, I All think so. Asian cuisine, pretty much. So you got the Thai, the Korean, the Japanese inside here. And Chinese, Chinese. and Chinese. So I know it's gonna be a really flavor, good flavor experience. Yeah, I think what we should do is probably start off with the appetizers first. So we got these three, right? So oh, yeah. this is the pork, uh, braised pork buns, Yeah. right? It's also known as bao. As bao. Then we have the kimchi, fermented cabbage. This is Korean, that's Chinese. And over here we have Japanese, uh, takoyaki. Correct. Takoyaki. So these are fried octopus balls with bonito flakes on top. I love this. When I was in Japan, dude, all day That's this. all you eat. Yeah. Oh man, it's like all day. Typical good appetizer food in the Asian continent. Oh yeah, this is like finger food, right? So I think we should start with that one. Oh yeah, pork belly, I'm all over that, man. You're all over right. it. So it's gonna be great. I'm ready. My man, this is easy. Finger food. You just go straight in, right? Straight in. Ooh. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Home run. Oh yeah. This is my go-to all time in China. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's like the most flavorful thing you will ever put in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice sauce. Mm -hmm. You get that nice soy inside there. It's braised in the soy sauce. Mm -hmm. You get a nice savory umami flavor that's coming up. Exactly. The pork fat is so tender. Mm -hmm. Mixed with the cucumber, a little bit of cilantro, and then that fluffy bun. Love it. Those buns are steamed up. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect receptor to just suck up all that good soy sauce. It's like a pillow. Ethereal in nature, soft, almost up the clouds. Yeah, just grab some of that sauce. Mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. Take it away, Candace. Good? So good. Kimchi is more like a condiment pretty much, yeah? Oh yeah. That's the thing about it. So you have it in a connection with whatever you're eating. But you know what? Some like people eat it like a salad also. Dude, yeah. I eat it like a salad. Like and I'll, I'll just jump on it like a salad. Like straight up just go in there. So let's get inside here. Now you know they make this themselves, right? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. homemade. It's homemade. A lot of people take pride in this, and this could be fermented up to years on the ground. You know it's made on the ground, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen the process. I've been to one of the museums in uh, Tokyo where you see like a million of them. Really? And, yeah, because they, they bring them from the houses, but they do this in underground in these big vats. Wow. It's amazing. The, 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 the smell <laughs> is amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 
crunch is still there. Mm -hmm. Crunch, spice, the fermentation. That's the fermentation. You know, fermentation brings out a lot of great flavors, earthy flavors. Mm -hmm. The spice is not too much. It's just like it's a perfect. Yeah, it's the perfect. Yeah, perfect. Like a, a little kick, right? I mean, I do feel it. Like up here, feel a little heat. And Korean restaurant takes pride in their kimchi. Mm -hmm. And this Always. is house made. Excellent. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, but this in Korea, and some restaurants you go to, they have like 20 different uh, flavors and variations. So you eat this as a side dish, or is it a main dish? You it, can't have it both. It's, it's both, salad. yeah. Yeah, but people use it as a condiment also, together with when they're eating their noodles and so forth. Exactly, and we have we have it also in uh, the bibimbap, the rice dish from Korea, this one. We have it there as well. You always have it on the side, but like they'll give it to you like, um, it's called, uh, man, like small plates in Korea. It's uh, bang chan, I think. So they'll give you a few different ones to try. To try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Mm -hmm. okay, I'll taste it some as well too. Right? Mm -hmm. Kimchi is awesome, but you gotta try this. It's happy. Oh. It's gonna blow your mind. What I like about this is that the bonito flakes mm -hmm. is what you would make dashi from. Exactly. So you get a nice crunch and you get the earthiness of that salt coming inside of the dried bonito flakes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure what the orange uh, sauce of That's like is. a spicy mayo. Oh, really? Yeah. Cheers, brother. Mm. Mm. Mind blowing. Wow. Octopus balls, huh? Wow. It's so creamy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like pops, man. <laughs> no, but I love the bonito flakes and the seaweed on top. It's a nice crunch as well. Oh, that mayo, huh? Bless me, Lord, for this. Oh. This is, this is the foods of the heavens. What's the creaminess inside of it? It's so mm -hmm. good. Fried little orb. Feels like almost like bechamel, yeah. right? Feels like a little croqueta. Mm, exactly, like a, like a juicy croqueta because it That's just like it. popped out, right? Wow. And the bonito flakes really just take it to the other level. It's so simplistic, but mm -hmm. the, the crunch on it. Yeah, especially when they put it on, because when they put it on, the octopus is still really hot, so that it'll just like, it'll, I'll move. It looks like it's alive. Take one and put it on the tongue. It just mm. dissolves. Like that. Mm. That's it. it and that's just flavor right there. That's so good. 50% of the flavor resides on the bonito flakes. That's good. Definitely 10 out of 10 for me. One shot. One shot. Oh my god. So good, huh? This is good. I got so much flavor. It's just exploding out. That's what it is. It's a flavor explosion. It's a flavor bomb. It's exactly what it is a flavor bomb. Pad thai. Let's do the pad thai. It's in front of us. Okay, perfect. Let's do it. If you guys don't know what pad thai is, it's one of the dishes of Thailand. To be honest with you, in Thailand, you can't really find it so often. That's more of a Western thing, you know? Like here in the Western world, go to a Thai restaurant, Pad Thai. Pretty but much. over there, not really. Oh, they take pride in this dish a lot too. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, this one's- Especially with the chopped peanuts on top. And this comes in shrimp, beef, chicken, mm -hmm. you get it pretty much. And the yeah. noodles are just so ubiquitous. Ah, they're the best, so these noodles. Right. I love this. It's a little creamier, right? No, but it, it, when it sits, it gets like this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's do this. Cheers. Oh, almost poked my out. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, more. There's a little bit of peanut butter in there. Mm -hmm. It also has some, um, some sprouts in there. What else? With the egg. Fresh scallions, fresh peanuts, fresh lime. Mm. All right, I'm just gonna have one more. That's beautiful. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Big bite. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, David. <laughs> mm. The richness of the noodles. That's it. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, you could easily get so full eating this, but the shrimp inside there and the peanuts, there's so much texture taking place. Mm -hmm. And the nice peanut butter inside it just keeps you coming back more and more. I mean, it's definitely on the more the sweeter side, right? In yeah. terms of a... Because of when you think of noodles, you know, noodle. you always think of savory profiles. You, you think know, savory. Soy sauce, oyster sauce. This one definitely has a sweeter appeal to it. You know what? I'm going to mix this. I'm going to get some of the kimchi. Hey, Candice, don't take all my pad thai. <laughs> <laughs> So next up, we have a Korean dish that I love. This is tteokbokki. Not duck, it's tteok, T-T-E-O-K. Really? Tteok, yeah. Tteokbokki. So it's a tteokbokki. <laughs> it's a sticky rice cakes with uh, the gojin sauce. It's goju a, sauce. Goju sauce. Yeah. It's a, size, a sauce from uh, Korea. It's like a mix. It's, it's like spicy, it's sweet, it's pasty. Let's try this. I can see pork inside there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this is different. Usually it's just the rice cakes, not all this extra stuff. Okay. Here they added, uh, so it's a fusion. yeah, they added pork, they added egg. And what else they add here? Some vegetables. 
Nice sesame seeds, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is really interesting. Mm -hmm. I love this. A nice uh, glutinous sort of feel. Mm -hmm. With it's like little dumplings. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Nice thicky feel to it. The sauce is balanced. Mm -hmm. You get sweet, savory flavors, a little bit of spice. Mm -hmm. A nice texture clings to the dumplings. Just think of it like nice sticky dumplings. I mean, everything in Korea you're gonna have spice. You're always gonna have rice, of course. But this is very unique to Korea. No one else has this. Wow, and we can mix it in with some of this pork, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. What a dish. Wow. Pork is almost like a char soup in. Because mm -hmm. again, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. I like this. It's very nice. Mm, super creamy. Uh, extremely filling. <laughs> I can't eat all of this. Maybe like about four or five pieces of this. And that's it? Because it's really, yeah, it's yeah. really glutinous. Yeah, yeah. I but mean, this will fill you up. Most definitely. <laughs> but it's definitely a good item to try. I love it. Tuck pokey. Different, right? It's so unique. The flavors combined together is amazing. The texture is like this is the texture. It's Moorish though. Yeah. You want more? It's Moorish. <laughs> the key word Moorish, you always want more. Want the egg? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. It's too hot. This is like a regular egg. Boiled egg. So the one thing I have to do is I have to try it with the hard-boiled egg. Change yeah. it up, right? Oh yeah, most definitely. I've learned that it's eggs like pretty much go with anything these days. With anything. <laughs> Thank you. It's like the ultimate protein. Mm-hmm. And that's what it is about. I mean, you got your starch, you have your veg. No, you have a protein. Oh yeah, super nice. The egg's actually hot. Yeah, it's because sitting in that, that nice mm -hmm. uh, sauce, right? Mm. It stays hot. But these are uh, these these dumplings, definitely. Mm -hmm. awesome. The texture of it is amazing. Yeah. So soft, sticky. Yeah. Mm. You know, it's not really about just the flavor of the food, but the mm -hmm. combination of textures mm -hmm. and flavor together, I think is what makes an exceptional dish. But well, you know, the, you can't forget the, the Asian the Asian and the Orient are known for balancing sweet, savory, right. spicy, bitter, tangy, all these different flavors. So you get that really good sensation taking place on the palate. And I think that's why the food is so unique. It's just brilliant. So you got the right amount of crunch. Of the vegetables. Texture. Texture, yeah, texture everything. everything. It's amazing. It works well with the flavors. So next up we have bibimbap. This is a rice bowl from Korea. What do we have? We have rice, we have chicken, we have kimchi, bean sprouts, um, bean sprouts we have a fried egg, and then we have the same sauce right there. Correct. So I think we should pour the sauce on top and we can also crack the, the yolk right there. Oh yeah, that sauce right there. That sauce is gonna make this so good. Just wanna burst the yolk and let it run. Like the river Jordan. Three. All right, Boy. so we gotta flip this Honestly. egg over, right? And then in there, you have you all the rice. Chicken. Chicken, rice, everything. I'm not Let me try you know what, I'll one. do the fork too, I'll man. Fork today. It's, it's gonna be hard for this one. So you gotta get everything integrated, right? Mm-hmm, mix it all. Okay. Yeah, let's say get some kimchi, chicken, some rice, rice, chicken. A little hard, but it's all good. It's well, I mean, these are, these are basically like a rice bowl, right? That's what it is, yeah. I mean, it's an easy go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Taste of Korea. Mm. All in one bowl. All in one bowl. Mm. A sauce we put on top. Mm -hmm. Slice it all in together. Yeah. So this is something people would have like, you know, in the morning they have it, but they have it mainly for lunch. Quick on the go, really fast, you know. So you got a stir fried chicken inside it, pretty mm -hmm. much breast. Mm -hmm. You got the kimchi, the bean sprouts. It's balanced again, starch, veg, protein. And then that egg on top. Yeah. The richness. And the sauce, right? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. The, the sauce, best. The sauce is light. The best sauce ever. Mm. Jason's getting four. I'm nearly there, bro. I still got some more space. Mm hmm. Must try. You know, it's so amazing to me that. You got great food like this, not only in Thailand, but here in Miami. Mm -hmm. I mean, pretty much, you could get an experience like this coming down here to 107 and taste. Yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm in the Orient. Yeah, and the owners, the, um, it's a mix, I think, Chinese, also Thai. So they're really from there, right? It's not just somebody popping up that's no. American making Asian food. It's authentic. It's authentic. Everything I've had thus far has been so amazing. Good, good. I know we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We have, uh, you know what, let's cleanse our palates. So what do we have here? We have two drinks, right? Two different bobas? Yeah. And this is taro boba, and yours is? Thai iced tea. Thai iced tea. 
What I love is that we have tapioca balls at the very bottom. If you guys don't know what that is, that's boba, right? They are filling though. You shouldn't have more than one of these per day. That's like enough. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is perfect. It's good, right? It's, it's bit, my, I don't know about you, but my one is a bit light and nice still. So it's not as heavy. You get any bobo balls on it? Mm -hmm. I mean, the bobo balls are really filling. Mmm, sweet. Wow. Lots of sugar, right? But this is really cold. It's, it's another, like, I guess, like a palate cleanser. And then it, it, gets you, it gets you ready to go again. Exactly, exactly. That's what it is, because really, whatever the heat you got on your tongue, it just calms it down. So Correct. Mm -hmm. it's, it's soothing. Very soothing. It's yeah, yeah. It's Especially when you're dealing with spicy food, right? This is brilliant. This is perfect. And it's light. Yeah, it's not heavy at all. No, it looks like it would be heavy, but it's really, really light. It looks creamy and really oh, dense, but it's very refreshing. I'll be honest it's with you guys. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm not a big bowl fan. Right. This is the first time that I'm actually giving it a go. And I'm only having it because it's done properly across here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I won't go anywhere else and I've so. had it before no. and it turned me off, but this is exactly really 20 well. years ago when I was trying to Good. I wanted to have it already done professionally mm -hmm. done because I didn't want to have it done yeah, poorly. I want to ensure that when I'm having a proper experience or experiencing something for the first time, I want to ensure that I actually get it done authentically. Bobo tea is really amazing, yeah. and I have to give a thumbs up on that. All right, so next up we have the two ramen bowls, and this is the end. Well, actually, we do have dessert coming, Wow. but we'll get to that later. Hell's Ramen. So it's going to be spicy, this one. <laughs> it's extra spicy for me? <laughs> She's wild, she's he wild. Loves, he loves his chilies, huh? Oh, I love my chilies. She knows, she knows, yeah, yeah. What's the name of this one? Tonkasu ramen. 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 As I do this, it just like pops, it hits you in the you face. Feel, right? Yeah, yeah, ready. Mm. That's like a broth. Mm. 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 You see David's face with his spice. I mean, I'll tell you though, That's the broth is what makes the ramen dishes, the right? Is, it's all about the broth. It's all about the broth. Wow. There's some bamboo shoots here. Wow. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. Intense. It's not, I mean, not killer. You've but had, it's, you've had. I've had it harder. Okay. I've had it harder. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, it's like so. It's it's intense. It comes at the end. Mm -hmm. It hits you in the olfaction, in the nose. Mm. I didn't know it was called, um, what was it? Bat ear mushrooms. Bat ear mushrooms. Or ear fungus. Ear fungus, wow. And we got banana shoots here. <laughs> God, Toro. Check my pork belly. It's amazing. Look at mm. that. That one. Mm -hmm. It's like braised, so it's incredibly soft. Okay. And the fat just melts. It's <sighs> so gelatinous. I gotta take a piece. So I should grab a piece of pork belly? Grab yeah. a piece of pork belly. Thank you. Yeah, that's your pork belly. I'm getting a bit ready now. Look at that. <laughs> He's rolling his eyes. When you start to see the white in his eyes, you know it's tasting good. I mean, it was like crispy. I mean, the fat just fell apart. Yeah, it's just so, yeah. It just falls apart. It's, it's braised to the point where it's so tender. Mm. And gelatinous. Mm. So good. Oh. Uh, oh my God. That's good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have some of your favorite. Phenomenal. Bad ear mushrooms, the ear fungus. Mm. Yeah, everything's amazing, but I'm starting to hit walls here. It's what happens with all the noodles, right? All yeah, starts. That's the for you. You've had the dumplings, tapenaki. Mm -hmm. You had the noodles, you had the rice. I see you have tempura shrimp also. Talk to us about that. I'll right. have one. Let me have one. Let me dip a little bit. Mm -hmm. Tempura. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. It's like soaked up uh, broth. Mm -hmm. That's where the flavor resides. Wow. Yeah, nice and crispy, super thin shrimp. It's Ooh. heat, it's heat, I know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. gonna make Jason get acid. The pepper. Mm? The pepper. I got pepper here. Pepper wow. The piece I took I have was to have another soaking, bite. probably soaking for a good while, eh? Look at this, pull some of this. It's the <laughs> Like some Szechuan oh. peppers inside. <laughs> where's the bubble? It got hot. Yeah, where's the bubble? It got hot. Ooh. So I'm thinking what happened as you dig deeper, mm -hmm. whatever is settled below, you're now stirring it up. 
That's what I think just happened because they were like soaked in with this redness at yeah, the very bottom, right? So Jason, what is yours? It's like a, it, it almost looks like a, one of these mushroom yeah. soups. It has, it has like this uh, sort of uh, veggie feel to it. It's very mushroom based. Okay. It's creamy also inside there. Yeah. Look so at that. Starch from the noodles came out and you get a nice creamy feel. It's a lot. Go easy, bro. I'm trying to go easy, but look how easy, long. You, you can't really cut that. <laughs> you gotta get a scissors. Yeah. <laughs> like... mm. Good, mm. right? Mm. It's very friendly, especially for someone who does not really eat too much pepper. Exactly. It works really well, and the pork belly definitely makes it. Good. The eggs are incredibly creamy. Yeah. It's like when the eggs sit inside of it, it just takes on a whole new profile flavor. Dude, it's like a soft egg. Yeah. It's a soft hard-boiled egg. Still runny. It's like it's like witchcraft. But it is, it, it is it's witchcraft. Simple. Yeah. So it just absorbs. So it just absorbs. It's like the shrimp, it just absorbs. It just so absorbs. Long in the ramen sits pretty much. You get the impregnation of flavor. Yeah, so if you leave this for like half an hour, oh, yeah. it's gonna be just like soaking in it. Ooh. Intense. It's good. A boat was not that hot. Oh, come on. What? One mouthful she had. <laughs> just, just talk. One mouthful she had. No, <sighs> David had like about seven or eight. I had like uh, two or three. We are really full, but Vanessa insisted that we have to try these two desserts. So what do we have? This one is Nutella crab cake. Okay. And this one is zombie plant. Zombie plants. Yeah. Zombie plant. <laughs> and you said to drop this on top, which is this is like coconut milk. Yeah, coconut milk. Just, just drop it on top. Yeah. Does it go down, or do we have to bust the hole? I think when you bust the hole into it, it just seeps down into it, right? Ah, uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. There you go. That's beautiful. There you go. Look at that. It's just like, like, oh, so it's it's actually cake inside there. Yeah. So it's okay. Oh, cake. Yeah. I was like, what's inside there? So it's cake, but then you have what, like, just chocolate. We have cake and with uh, vanilla ice cream. Okay. And some of the fruit is uh, kiwi, strawberry, and the pineapple. Inside. It's like a trifle. Trifle layered. Trifle layered. Oh, and and yeah. So just go all the way down and then pull out like that. Yeah. I'll help you out, buddy. So you will find something. Oh, oh. It's, like a, it's like a fruit cocktail down there. Are you going to love it? Oh, I know we're going to love it. Let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, wants to feed me? <laughs> Zombie cake. Zombie cake. <laughs> There's nothing zombie about that. It's mm. beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Uh, combination, textures. Sponge cake really works well mm -hmm. inside it. It's not like stale or anything, so it's super fresh. Mm hmm. Mm. Coconut. Oh my gosh. I would keep going here. But let me get some. Let me get some. Oh, look at that. Strawberries. A banana. What else in here? It's a bunch you got of fruit. strawberries. I'm seeing like little, uh, maybe chocolate or cocoa nibs, maybe. Mm -hmm. Chocolate chips. Pineapple. Mm. Mm. Pineapple. Pineapple. Kiwi and pineapple. This one's the one. I mean, I know it's gonna be good, but this is the best. Wow, it is an incredible flavor explosion here. Oh, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm done with this. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so you got a uh, crab cake with Nutella here, mm -hmm. vanilla ice cream on, it looks like nut, bri nut brickle. And then the ice cream, you got the nuts, and we just cut. So it is hard, like you're saying. It. Look at that, so nice layers of Nutella right here, a little bit of ice cream. So you're just gonna get some of the ice cream, get some, some of the nuts. Some nuts on top of it. Some yeah, there we go. Dude, no worries. Mm. It's building the perfect the bite. Build yeah. your research stuff. <laughs> build your research program. Hard choice not, right? Mm. So cream, chocolate, cream, chocolate. It's wow. It's like layers, right? You mean you, you did think it was tiramisu, but it's not. Mm -hmm. Look it's at not. the cream, look at the cream. Mm -hmm. That's the cream inside there. It's hot. So you get the cream, the crepe, the Nutella, the cream, the crepe, the Nutella, the cream, the, I mean, you, you get the team. 101 layers. <laughs> it, it is like 101 yeah. layers. Yeah, this is homemade, all made right here in the kitchen. Wow. Amazing. Mm. The taste of fresh is a difference. It's amazing. Mm. It's not store bought. Like Dude, feels like I'm in a bakery with that. It's so fresh. Wow. So decadent. So sweet. Too good. What did you think of this restaurant? Yes, I enjoyed myself here. Yeah. I know. Much. I mean, I know my this has a myriad of so many restaurants and different types of themes, but I feel sweet at home right here. It's the 
flavor explosion, so many different textures. But at the same time, the dessert just finishes off nicely. Yeah. I mean, it's 107 place. and taste, man. 107 and taste. Four different Asian cuisines in one. Korean, Japanese, Thai, and Chinese. They have so many places. We tried ramen. We tried buns. Yeah. We tried rice dish. I mean, bibimbap. Bibimbap. Takoboki. Uh, Tokonomiyaki. I mean, just infinite dishes here. The bobo. The bobo as well. It's really well. Yeah. It worked well. And then the desserts. Mm -hmm. Obviously, just time to bring everything together. Oh, gosh. Really great experience. You can come down and try it out. I mean, so you can come here and order right here. Look, Jason, look. Go, oh, hey, how you doing? Hi. Very good. Got wow. lots of food. Look at the spread, David. Like, oxtails I'm seeing, I'm seeing the chicken, you see the chicken stews, you see the soups, you know, the casseroles, yeah, I mean, beans, chickpeas, wow! They have so much, they have vegan options, they have meat, they have seafood, they have poultry, they have greens, extra sides. So right now we're going to go inside, we're going to meet with Naom, which uh, he's the owner, Naom, right? Candice, you're excited? Yes, it's my first time trying Haitian food, right? Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. My hey, man, how, how you hey, doing? How are you? Very good. You? Good to see you too. Welcome to Naomi's. Thank you. So you ready? I'm ready. What are we, we doing? We got a lot of great food for you guys today. <laughs> so why don't we go see what we're cooking today? Okay. We got a whole bunch of stuff. We're kind of getting ready for lunch right now. And so the cooks have been cooking up a store. Jacqueline, Jacqueline's cooking all this stuff up right how now. How you doing, Jacqueline? You good? Yes. Um, so what are you doing right there? Beans? Yes. So lots of beans, rice. Over here we have a puree. Yes. What do we have over there? We have mai right over there. Mai? Mai zone. That's yellow mai. Uh, yellow formula. And this one, tell him, Jacqueline, what's this one right here? Mai kole. Mai kole. Mai means cornmeal with stuffed in it. And so this has coconut milk, pinto beans, a whole bunch of spices. It's unbelievable. Right? That's, these two we serve for breakfast, actually. Okay. And throughout the day. And then the rice is are being prepared for the lunch. So Jacqueline's getting all the pinto beans and all that stuff ready for the jiri kole. Oh, you're doing that like that? I don't even remember the food I had from Haitian cuisine, but I know a lot of goat stews, a lot of curries, right? Very similar. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's very earthy, it's rich, obviously it's cooked for a very long time, so the meat falls off the bone. Mm -hmm. But I mean, uh, this already smells good. I'm seeing the rice here. This well, is yeah, the beans. They got all the greens on this side here, and then all the meats are going to be prepared on this side here. So this is Bebe. Bebe is cooking all the meats today. Yeah. Yeah. So she's just finishing the last little breakfast thing, which is the, yeah. the steamed vegetables. And what's this? Because it looks this amazingly is, rich. This is oxtail. oxtail. That's oxtail. So this has been cooking for many, many hours. And so she's just finishing this up right now. So once this is finished, she'll dress it up and do all this stuff and put it up front. But oxtail cooks for about four hours or so. Combien, combien terre pour cuit This is a... This Dude, is how do you speak Haitian? <laughs> I, I, well, it's Creole, Creole. Creole. Uh, it's Haitian Creole. I, I don't speak it super well, but I get the message across. And it's just because I've been, I was born at this restaurant with a lot of these ladies my whole life. It's amazing. So, like, she's been here for like over 20 years. Wow. Jacqueline has been here over 20 years. Cecilia, many, many years. My dad met her on the bus and she was looking for a job and she's been here for 20 years. It's amazing. You know what I mean? So it's like, and then Melissa I've been right. Boston, very good. Yes. Thank you. Man. Understand? Boss, <laughs> very good thank boss. You, thank you. <laughs> love Asian. Yeah, love Asian. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's look at this. Cecilia, this is Epi's. Epi's okay. is a, a spice blend, a wet spice blend that we make. It has parsley, garlic, green onions, tomatoes, and just so many things. She could show you the whole recipe. And that's the Epis. piece of Haitian food, is this spice blend. And oh, so she's yes. gonna marinate this chicken for about three, four days. This is gonna be marinated for three, four days. Yeah. Just sitting with, just with the sitting marination. With the marinade. It's, and it's and called, that's why it's so good. And it's called Effie. Epis. Epis. E Okay, yeah, epis. So it just means spices. Spices. So this spices. is in everything Haitian, you have epis. Epis. Yes. At the bottom of the rice, at the bottom of the rice, when you saw that stuff kind of in the oil, mm -hmm. that was the same epis as we're putting in the meat. It's very similar to like back in Trinidad and Tobago, pork. We season our chicken similarly like this with our green season, the minced garlic, the shadow benny, the celery, the garlic, the side inside there. And we marinate it for extended periods of time. We believe that the flavor really soaks in, mm -hmm. it gets inside there and you want to get that true flavor. Oh man, I'm excited for this. Oh, yeah. This is going to be so good. But we're not eating this, well you have it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, we have it. Yeah. <laughs> it serves 600 meals a day, so this is going to go really quick. 
Wow, huge chicken. Huge. Look at that. Drumsticks are massive. The cabbage salad looks good, but yeah. the oxtail. Yeah, oxtail. I'm about to jump in here. Huh? I'm about to jump in there. 20. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, guys. Look at that beautiful oxtail. Okay, it's like an oxtail curry, right? Yeah, yeah, oxtail curry, curry. So rich. Yeah. Look at that. The oils. Yeah. This looks real good. I cannot wait for the oxtail. Oh yeah. That's gonna be the best. <laughs> okay, baby. What is this, Jacqueline? Dirikole. Dirikole. And what do you have inside? Kibagayake and dan. Epis. Epis. Mm. Zoyon. Onions. Tessie. Parsley. Garlic. Garlic. Epis blende. Blended spices. Okay, nice. Yeah. And then rice. I'm surprised you understand uh, Creole. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so bad. It's not so bad. No, I understand some of those words. Yeah. You know, when you know a little French, a little... Exactly. Uh, when you're around here every day with all these other people, then you just kind of learn. This is a mac and cheese, sir? Spicy baked macaroni and cheese. Spicy baked macaroni and cheese. I mean, it looks like a massive lasagna. Ooh, it's on fire. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. on fire. And it's going to be spicy. <laughs> Alright, I have to try this. Gotta try this. I have to try it. I'm trying everything. Okay. Look at this, the chicken, it's so much. Look at the oh, size. Yeah. Wow. I mean, if I get it like I'm here, I'm pretty much satisfied. And it smells so good. That piece, oh, the color of it also is so vibrant. See all the herbs and the spices on top of it. I just love this place. It's gonna be so good. Always fresh, never frozen. That's a big difference in taste. Huge difference. Yeah, so this is gonna be the big chicken. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be for like an hour and a half, more or less. We have these massive ovens over here. Right. And so um, we also make fried chicken, like fried chicken, but it's the same, the same chicken that'll be baked or fried. This is the same for the baked chicken and the fried chicken. And you batter it up, fry it, or you just bake it? It's actually not battered. It's just fried, fried just as like it that. is. Yes. So in the Haitian style, the fried chicken is unbattered fried. So pretty much it's gluten free. That's it good. It is gluten free. Yeah, when yeah. you think about True. it. Wow. True. Just naturally. But then the jerk chicken is also plated the same way, but it's a different spice blend. It's a jerk seasoning, and the pieces are cut smaller, right. so that that seasoning kind of like penetrates, and penetrates inside even here. more. Look at that sauce! Wow. We got a amount of chicken here, guys. It just doesn't end. This chicken, the incredible marination. It's just there for three days. Sorry, we're having a whole Creole conversation back here. It's really amazing. I mean, the aroma coming out of here, guys, it smells. You have no idea. So many herbs, so rich. Mm, so good. Listen, this is the same, right? That chicken and this chicken, same thing, right? What they did earlier on, and it's now roasted, probably like about 45 to an hour inside. And look at the color of this. Realistically, it smells so good. Like, you get shocked if you get a natural gravy inside here. So, you know, that's going to go on top of the macaroni pie. Brilliantly. So that's the sauce that she made with the rice. Okay, so this is just sauce that she's removing because it's overflowing right now. Overflow. Okay, that's so what's happening. Rice cooks, she's going to add it back in to make sure that the flavoring is all there. So, it's just because we're cooking such massive quantities on it. These are the biggest pots that you can get if they don't make things. Yeah. I mean, you guys are making for a lot of people, right? Because people come throughout the whole day and buy right there in the window. Right out the window. And Whoa. also tons of delivery and pickup and whatever. But so we have a, about 600 meals total a day between the window and the delivery system and the pickup system. So it's a whole, and then sitting in the garden as well. So that's a total with the entire operation. We haven't even showed you the garden yet, but we'll get to that in a second. I think we have to go serve ourselves, right? There's so many things to try. We're going to serve like three huge plates. Follow me. Let's go. This is breakfast over here. So basically like the breakfast menu is these two fish dishes. Wow. And then the mai, and then a couple things that, that actually this one right here, the spaghetti with hot dogs. With hot dogs, like a spicy one, right? Uh, yeah, you gotta try that just for fun. We're trying everything. Yeah. I'm trying everything. It's, it's a, I'm excited. Spaghetti for breakfast, most people are like, what? <laughs> uh, I know, I know. But it's so good. You know what I sometimes do if I have leftover spaghetti or leftover pasta, I'll yeah. throw with eggs in the morning. There you go. You know, and so we serve eggs mix. in the morning, so some people actually get the spaghetti with eggs. Into the mix. You know, um, Jason, look at this. Look at this. And then we do um, intense. We do liver stew wow. for breakfast. Liver stew. Beef liver for yeah. breakfast. Yeah. Do we still have any left, or yeah. just a little yeah. bit left? Yeah, like you the, remember, you had the liver with the chickpea and the chana, uh -huh. the cheese. Yeah. This is going to be a similar style, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's all, all the Caribbean islands have their wow. similarities, you know what I mean? It's just so rich about food. It's all the, the ingredients of the islands when you see when you put it together. Yeah. Yeah. We all have similar foods, just different influences, yeah. different spices, sometimes a little bit of different methodology, but the flavors are all there. This is pickles. So Janine makes these once a week. These are pickled, very, very spicy salad. So it's cabbage, 
carrots, habanero peppers, and onions, and this is a must-have on the side of every meal. It is so good. Thinking everything. It's like uh, everything, we want to taste it, but the oxtail is definitely, that chicken with a piece. The jerk chicken, yeah. he said, is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Really both of these are amazing. This is the one that you saw them make. Yeah, Most definitely. I want to try that spicy macaroni pie. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's a must. Maybe maybe one fish item. Yeah, so we're getting we're getting it. Do the fried fish. That's hey, really the best seller. The fried fish. Whatever you think. Let's okay. do it. So yeah. let's let's get three dish like three plates and just stack okay. them. So we'll have them fry a grouper for you, which is a fillet, and that is ridiculous, and it's the same preparation as the snapper. For me, it's grouper and kingfish grouper all day. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this has been marinated in this sauce over here that they make for the fish. We have someone that comes specifically to prep the fish. Okay. So I'm just going to batter that. It's a very simple batter, just flour, because it's already got so much flavor in the in the marinade. So it doesn't actually need anything in the in the batter. The first one, who's going first? Jason? Let's go. So uh, let's try the pinto beans, yep. rice. Nice pinto beans. Whenever, everywhere in the islands, you always have the rice and peas, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Jamaicans have the red beans and rice. You have the pinto beans here. Let's try the pie. Absolutely. The macaroni is... Unbelievable. Look at that nice creamy au gratin finish to that. Oh, beautiful. Some oxtail. Oxtail pizza. Oh, beautiful. Want some gravy on the rice? Yeah, most definitely. Of course, it has to be. You need that extra juice. I want to try a little bit of this. Legume. That's a mash of vegetables right there. Small piece of your a piece chicken. Sure. Quickly. Absolutely. I think I'm good with that. All right, let's do it. It's so colorful, David. Look so at the colors already. It's like your pickle, your relish to go with it. Yes, yeah, exactly. So we'll do the white rice right here. Right. What else would you like to try? I want to try the pie as well. So what is this, this yellow stuff there? So what this is, is my moulet. What so is this that? is cornmeal. Uh -huh. It's mostly for, for breakfast. Hello. And then this one is cornmeal with Hello. pinto beans and oh coconut milk God. and all kinds wow. of stuff. It, it reminds me of grits. Yeah, yes. same it's thing. It's like grits, but it's just like a little bit, it's like this one is like a little bit more flavorful because it's got the coconut milk and the creaminess and all that. If you're not gonna try that, I'm gonna try it, Candice. Yeah, yes. try a little bit, that's what taste then. There you go. We've got the spinach too. That. It's got lima beans and carrots in it. Looks really good. So that's a delicious dish. Um, Are you into meats? We yeah. have like the goat stew, we have the curry goat. The curry chicken, the jerk chicken, which we have come, I definitely think that you should get the jerk chicken, which is a spicy chicken. Yeah. Um, the goat stew is okay. a very so try a little dish. Beautiful. So we'll have a little bit of jerk chicken, and then we'll get a little bit of the goat stew right here. And then I'm going to put the black beans on the rice for you. Yeah. I want to try your pickle. Absolutely. I think everybody's trying it. I'm trying. There we go. So lastly, sweet potato. This is a fried sweet potato. Absolutely. All right. There we go. Thank you. That's it. Yeah. Beautiful. For me, I'm just letting him build whatever he wants. But for sure, jerk chicken. For sure, jerk chicken. Um, I'm definitely going to put this one. This rice is like the classic. So the king. I'm to try that. Nobody's tried the curry goat yet. Let's try it. And that's really good. So I'd say try a little bit of that. This is the best selling meat dish, even though it's the most expensive thing on the menu. Um, the oxtail? The oxtail. Oh, yeah. Right over there. A little bit of the potatoes. And then definitely some jerk chicken. Have to. This is one of my favorite dishes. It is not the prettiest dish I've ever seen in my life, but it is so freaking delicious. So that's the legume. It's a mash of veggies. Legume. Yeah. This is my comment. Oh. A little bit. I have for, for breakfast, I got that with the fish. Unreal. And then let's get you some pickles, and on the side I'm going to get you some spaghetti. There we go. I'll get you a crispy plantain, and then I'll get you a couple of sweet plantains as well. Wow, that looks amazing. Guys, thank you so much. So I've got that ready. Karen, can you bring a little plate for the grouper? Brunch is served. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Walking out of the kitchen, straight onto the street. And now we're going to the garden. This place is amazing. It's like a hidden gem. I didn't know this place existed. It's like a little now I know. Hidden oasis, right? Yeah, yeah. Check it out. It's your answer. Amazing. Big space. And Easy. you were born literally right there. Right there on that stage. On that stage? No, on that stage. It no wasn't way. a stage then, but yeah. Same spot. They had, there was a room there. Pretty much at this point in time, I, uh, I just can't wait. That up still has me mesmerized yeah so i mean we have a big mix i think we have a few things the same like the oxtail jerk chicken they're just different right we got the spaghetti 
Mm -hmm. And we got that beautiful filet of grouper. Oh, the grouper looks amazing. Yeah. yeah, it looks so good. And then there's like no real sauces here besides the sauces that came with it, like the curries, right? Natural gravy is pretty much at this point in time. Mm -hmm. I mean, that sucks up into the rice, into the pie. Everything just harmonizes. I love those greens, by the way. Oh, yeah, so right here we have the spinach, right? Yeah. What do you got? The pureed vegetables, mm -hmm. cabbage, the carrots inside there. And uh, this is known as the legume here. Pretty much just like the staple. All right, so we'll try it. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna try some of the spinach first. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's like a creamy spinach, but super light on the cream and almost no salt. It's almost like oh, you have collard greens, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say. And so, and it's still not cooked over to the point where you lose the color. It's vibrant. Exactly. And if you overcook it, then then you lose all you the, lose the nutritional, nutritional value. values. What I do like is that the spice in this uh, the pinto beans and rice. Mm. I could just eat this alone. Oh man, but this is amazing. The vegetables do. Whoa. I, I, I just believe that this is probably really super healthy. Mm. I mean, it feels super healthy. So much flavor in there. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. I'm going to on jerk chicken. I've had jerk chicken before in, um, in Jamaica, but I didn't know that in Haiti they do as well. I'm guessing it's just a we Creole do, influence. We do uh, Jamaica, uh, we even do jerk chicken in Trinidad and Tobago also. I think all the islands do it. The Jamaicans do it best. Mm. But tell me what you think about the Haitian jerk chicken. Oh my God, it's amazing. Mm. Nice pepper, super tender. Fall off the bone. Check this out. Mm. This now is the oxtails. That's the oxtail right there. I look at that, it's just dripping with that nice, unctuous mm. gravy off of it. This is the stuff that I've been waiting for. Oxtail is everything that you would want to have. It's like full of flavor. And so succulent. It's amazing. Falling off the bone. Full oxtails, they're always just skimpy with meat. Mm -hmm. This is so full. Mmm. Look That's good, boy. And it looks amazing. For me, the best part of the oxtail is that the the bone, the bone marrow, you know? Oh yeah, when you pull it, you suck that when out. you pull it out. Oh, I got it here too, look. Mm -hmm. mm. Good, right? It's and more than good. And you gain a little bit of cumin inside there, mm -hmm. a little bit of spice inside there also, black pepper, salt, the, a little bit of the piece also, that does that. Look at that marrow over right? right, Exactly, so the marrow, go like this, right? Look at it, look at it, look at this fall out. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. If it doesn't all come out, you suck it out. And that's good collagen. Everyone who does fillers for the mm -hmm. lips, they will tell you, you that's need good, that collagen. Right? My gosh, what a plate. Mm -hmm. What a plate. You know, I'm really interested to try mm -hmm. the pickly. Oh, the pickly, me too. Yeah, I just had a... Because it's spicy, spicy. cabbage salad. It's spicy. Yeah. It's spicy, but it's good. It's spicy good though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's nice. You got a little bit of vinegar inside also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very pungent salad. Oh, wow. Mm. You know, it's almost like it's similar to like the Koreans have the kimchi. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Almost the same thing, right? Almost in terms same. of the heat, too. Except that one is fermented, this one is fresh. This one's fresh. Oh, I love the rice. So actually try the sweet potato. Sweet potato? Yeah, I like actually the Mm hmm. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So it's crispy on the outside. Mm-hmm. So good. Soft and tasty on the inside. It really depends on what you want. If you want vegan, they got it. If you want heavy meat, you got seafood, you have poultry. Listen, and you can the amount of options you have to choose from, you don't need to have even sauces. If you decide that you just want to be on a protein no, diet. Yeah. Or vegetable diet. Mm-hmm. Look at fish. Mm. The maduro sweet plantain. So tasty. So sweet. You can't beat plantains. No, you can't. You can't. And the oxtail, they left that, you know, extra gravy in there. You mix it with the rice. So this is the apice chicken, roasted as we saw earlier on. This was probably roasted for an hour plus. Look at the color on it. It's crispy and nice. Oh my god! Listen, <laughs> if you're like a little bit hesitant about the oxtail or even the spice, this is safe. This is beautiful. It's just so flavorful on its own. But it's so moist, the ties inside there, it just keeps the palatability and that retention of moisture going on. You can tell that, look at that, beautiful dark meat. Really, I, I love the jerk chicken. Jerk chicken is outstanding. Mm -hmm. mm. We've got to try the fish in a little while. Mm -hmm. mm. Man, I just love how this pulls off the bone. It's good stuff, boy. Mm -hmm. The real food. You know, I was looking at places, Haitian restaurants in Miami, and this was ranked one of the best. So I was like, you know, we have to go 
Plus the garden, this is a gem out here. I mean, I didn't even expect this. I didn't expect a small restaurant, you know? I think they wanted to recreate something of Abatia, the Haitian vibe going on. Exactly. It's very clean, it's all fresh food, it's fresh air, good food. And of course, good stuff, you know? Mm, great stuff. Yeah. Love the stuff here. I love the setting. Yeah, and there's stage for entertainment and you know, mm -hmm. it's relaxing too. Yeah, I'm guessing there's entertainment at night, you know? Yeah. yeah. Here transforms in the night, so pretty much you're gonna have a really brilliant experience here. We haven't tried this guy. It's almost like the grits, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some of that. You have? Oh yeah, look, it gets hard just like the grits. Yeah. It's cornmeal, right? It's cornmeal, yeah. Kidney beans, I think they probably put some juices of some, some one of the curries, right? Yeah. You got all that signature spices that she spoke to you about earlier on. The epice. This is a base for a lot of the flavors for this. Like the epice. The vegetables, the chicken, the oxtails. So you're gonna get that fresh garlic, that onion, all those great flavors coming through. Mmm, it's so tasty, so healthy. Grainy. When you talk about Haitian food, it's also like Caribbean native. Mm -hmm. and Caribbean people really believe in maximum flavor in their food, marination processes, in terms of the herbs, the spices, the mm -hmm. seasonings, the, everything. They don't skimp on flavor. There's no, it's no such thing as black pepper and salt. Yeah. Oh, that, that thing's hot. <laughs> close up. It's not close up. It's pick, pickly. Pickly. It's a relish. Okay. Pickles to go with it. Oh. Pickles are always so add. Good. Pickles always add a little bit of vibrancy, a little bit of piquant mm -hmm. to whatever. A little bit of heat. It's like a chutney, piquant. relish, those kind of stuff. You get it, one. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm getting the hotness, so. I just wanna big up the pie, you know. Oh, the pie. I just wanna big up the cheese, you know. You know what? You're gonna try the pie. I'm gonna try the the spaghetti. Okay, great. Let's see, spaghetti with some sausage. Boom. So this is the top of the pie for me. Yeah. Mm. Is that andouille sausage? I think so. It's good. It's not my thing, especially for breakfast. Yeah. But it's tasty. That's the thing about everything they do in Haitian cuisine. There's so much taste, so much flavor, right? Most definitely. So yeah. many sides. Mm -hmm. They're vibrant people, so they like good tasting food. Mm -hmm. It just reflects in the food, I guess. It reflects in the food. Yeah. And they gave me a mountain of rice here, so. <laughs> <laughs> the portions are huge, right? So pretty much you come here, two people could probably eat on it if you have a small appetite. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I'm pretty sure they do it by weight, from my understanding. Well, I, got, I gotta see. Yeah. Mm. In Trinidad, we didn't have that much oxtail. No, we had no oxtail in Trinidad, right? We didn't have oxtail. I actually wanted to give you uh, barbecue pigtails. Oh, yeah. Everywhere we went, it was always sold out. Yeah, we didn't. They're that good, right? Get, oh, thank you. We didn't get to try that. I think, that, lastly, let's try this? Yeah, let's try the fish. All right, so how do you do it? Let's just break it. break it, brother. Let's break a piece. Let's go. And if you want to, just add some of the heat. I'll add that after. This juicy oh wow, food. another rooster up there. Because I see them um <laughs> chicken flies. Yeah. Mm. Lock the back. This is good. Mm. No Lock bones. Mm -hmm. So try to fish with the pickle. Now we're gonna get some of the pickly on the side. On the, on the fish, like directly on it? Yeah. Like that. Oh it's spicy. I'm just gonna cut this guy in half, because I know how my boy does with the spice. He's not good with the spice. Yeah, it's a spicy macaroni pie. Oh, that's what it is? So you get the paprika, all that great uh, cayenne coming through inside there. Mmm. Mmm. I told you. Perfect combo. I told you. Have some. Take a piece of fish. Yeah. This fish is so good. Mmm. So tasty. I'm having this. I swear, like, this is such a Caribbean thing. Mmm. 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 Hot. Flip. The definite must have. It reminds me of when you did like uh, the bacon shark mm -hmm. yeah. and you had like the fried shark and all that good cabbage and lettuce on top of it. <laughs> you see the flavors are different to some degree but the ingredients remain the same pretty much. But this is so good. Look at the guys behind you. <laughs> My friend. So what I love about this place is that you get fresh juices. So they got me carrot, passion fruit and papaya. No additional sugar. <laughs> no added sugar. That's raw juice. Okay, this. I'm just gonna drop it on top. Yeah, just drop it on top. It's so good. Like that. You gotta crunch. You gotta be careful. Right there, like all the juices came out of that. <laughs> <laughs> you like mm -hmm. that, right? Told you. Mm -hmm. It's good, right? It's fresh. It's crunchy. The salad, amazing. You know, in Jamaica, they fry fish and they make something called escovitch topping. Escovitch topping. Yeah, so they use the carrots inside there. Okay, so and it's trying to tell us vinegar. It's and it's vinegar based. Okay. And when they top that on top, you get that nice, similar flavors going on. Yeah, that is exceptional. 
<laughs> Amazing. Yeah. I mean, that is Haiti, right? That's, that's Haiti right there. Haiti in a bowl. Haiti in a bowl. And wow, we ate a lot. It was amazing. What do you guys think? Oh, no way garden? Yeah, I mean, I'm full at this point in time, pretty much. I think I need a, like a big truck to lift me. This is what we call, this is what we call in the islands, ethnic fatigue. <laughs> that's when you eat and you just feel to sleep. Even, even the chickens, uh, they agree with us. <laughs> the one-legged chicken. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, this place is amazing. It's a hidden gem. Never knew about it. Haitian food here in Miami, right here outside of Little Haiti. Really good. What was your favorite thing? I would have to say definitely the, that macaroni, spicy macaroni pie, the oxtails and the beans and rice. The pinto beans and rice is excellent. The vegetables too. Oh yeah, that's just, uh, yeah, wow. just using whatever you have and making it work. Yeah. And uh, that, that was really good. The, the greens were actually very good also. The greens are good. I mean, everything's so fresh. Everything's made daily. Nothing's frozen. So chicken fresh, the goat. What else do we have? So we have oxtail. I had goat. You have goat? And then we had that sort of a corn grit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was really nice also. The plantains were your favorite. Yeah. Oh my God. And then we had the spaghetti. Yeah. I mean, everything here is phenomenal. You can come here in the mornings, right at the window, or you can come inside for lunch, dinner. <laughs> Rock and roll, dude. Yeah. It's a beautiful place, huh? Check it out. And this is Ooh, it, right? Smells, you get the smells already, yeah? Right when you walk in, you get the Ooh, smells. It's a beautiful space. Love the space. So it's like modern, super high ceilings. You got TV screens all over. Obviously, barbecue joints. You can watch the games, right? Almost definitely. You got the big screens there. You got the bar on the side. I heard uh, local tap beers, all from Florida. All from Florida, yeah. So all local beers, craft beers, really delicious. I mean, you get wine, you get liquor here. It's a great ambiance, obviously. People are just chilling here. They're ordering, drinking beers. I mean, I know we're going to have a good time. Yes, sir. Yeah, we are. You so, we're going to meet up with Anthony. He's, going to hey, he's right there, like, setting up some fire. Anthony! Yeah! What are you doing? Oh, we're going to start a fire right now. You're going to start a fire? Oh, yeah. We're going to play some wood down. Put it cross hatch style. We burn authentic wood here. A little wax going in between. Stack it up. We use hickory and oak. Is that, like, traditional? Hickory and oak? Yeah, it is. Hickory and oak is good. I do like pecan. But uh, down here in Florida, I get the best beef can, so I'm like, ah, we'll just stick with the uh, oak and hickory. Get us on fire. Get us on fire, let's do it. Woo! It is hot in this kitchen. I love it, dude. I live in the kitchen. Oh, Anthony, this is a smoker. Yes, yeah, so we got this is actually a water smoker. So what happens right now is I basically put this fire on. Above it is, I'll open this up, it'll be a big pan of water. It okay. boils the water so it smokes the meat and it basically steams the meat at the same time. Ah, oh, okay. So it's nice and moist. Oh my gosh, so what are we doing here? Everything. Everything, we put everything in here. They're even doing gator tomorrow. A gator. Gator. We got, uh, yeah, gator, wild boar, goat. 50 pound amberjack fish. What else do we do? Oh wow, nice. Oh, yeah, we, just, we do some crazy stuff here. We do a whole hog. We're doing lechon in about three weeks, May 14th. May 14th? Yeah, I got a di whole, whole different smoker. We got a pig roast. We're gonna go Cuban style on this one. All right, there we go. Boom. Woo. So right here, we have a dinosaur beef rib. This to me is my favorite thing on the menu. My favorite. It is full of heart beef. In your mouth, in your mouth, but you have no idea. Smoke this for about seven hours, and basically what happens here is we we'll just pull these out. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Look at that! Wow. Amazing! I can't wait to try this. And the bone is still still moist. Oh it's man! Perfect. You do, you take this. Oh. oh my gosh! Oh yeah. That beef looks so juicy. That is good stuff right there. So last time I had this, I was in Phoenix. I went to a super famous spot there. Huge ribs as well like this. This looks a little different though in terms of what you guys put on top, right? So it's pepper yeah. and then... Salt, pepper, mm -hmm. and then we put our, our rub on top of that as well. So your special rub? Yeah. Okay, awesome. So uh, secret rub. Secret rub. All right, I'm trying it right here in the kitchen. <laughs> Dude, it just melted. <laughs> it just went down so easily. It's like butter. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. That little added step, you take it. Oh yeah, yeah. Dip it in the jus. That, what that is, is the actual au jus from this. And the brisket, a little bit of our house sauce in. Bang, try this. Jason, you try it. Yeah, whoa. It's a nerdy style. It just falls up onto your mouth. <laughs> 
And it's soaking in your nat natural jura. So that's what that, is, that particular sauce was, is our aju. About 70% of the aju from the meat, about 30% of our, maybe 20% of our... Uh, I guess you get a, 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 a even greater yield that way also too, right? Because you're not like cooking a beautiful bark, bark beautiful yeah. bark, and you get that nice uh, smoke color, that smoke ring develop. Smoke ring? Look at that red color. Yeah, this is a moist piece of meat. Yeah, it's very moist. That's chef, how you doing? Fantastic. The chef just left, what? He's on his way. He's, he's not cooking for up. me? He's got a prep, he's got a prep. Oh, okay, okay. Do the brisket, do the brisket, do the brisket. <laughs> All right, so basically, here's our brisket. Oh, it's hot. I basically should have put the cottons on, but we're going to muscle through this one. Oh my gosh. Super fatty. Yeah. So this is the brisket. So for my viewers who don't know about barbecue, what is brisket? Brisket is the beef part of the cow on the chest. That's, that's a brisket. Yeah. Personally, my favorite piece of any barbecue is brisket. Anywhere I go in Texas, Oklahoma, I've had some in Tennessee. I mean, it's so good. It's, oh my gosh. Really Give me everything, dude. Yeah. <laughs> fresh piece, actually. Basically, right now, we got a nice piece of meat, a nice bar, we got a nice ring. That's my piece. Cool. Alright, let's go. That's that crust. Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's all about the crust on a brisket, right? The crust, yeah. The that rub that you make. Mm -hmm. That fatty there in between the meat. Mm. The fat just breaks down, keeps it moist. The fat. And the bark. Really, what makes the brisket? Mm -hmm. What that is, that's the ajou mixed with a little bit of our barbecue sauce. Good. Oh, the sauce just takes it to another level. Oh, yeah. sure. Wow. Sweet with some heat. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Good, right? Yeah. Another level right now. Dude, I would drown it in that sauce. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Oh wow. I'm gonna have to marry this guy, man. Anthony, you single? I am not saying. <laughs> he's, joking, he's joking, he's <laughs> joking. So Jeremy, what are we doing today? Uh, New York strip and pork chop. Like Salt Bay right there. He's next door. I know he's next door. Pork chop. Okay, now it's New York strip. So we're doing a pork chop and we're doing a 16 ounce New York strip. Correct. Both just have salt, pepper, and then... Uh, pork chop has the dry rub. The dry rub, right? So the special dry rub they got. And then you're gonna add the pork chop into the oven after. Yeah, after we sear it on all sides. Okay, amazing. In the oven. And what are the sides for these? Uh, it's like greens. Collard, collard greens, baked beans, roasted carrots. Oh man, it smells amazing. Oh, I love being in this kitchen. Barbecue all day, where are you from? Miami. Oh, me too, man. Kendall, Born and raised, I'm from Kendall. South Miami. I'm, I'm right there on the coast. Right there next to me in Kendall. Yeah, man, oven, let's do it. Throw this one in the oven as well. Yes. Yeah, so right now what he's doing is just searing the top and bottom, and then in the inside it's gonna be nice and red and juicy, and then he's gonna cook it a little longer in the oven. David, come on, let me show you the beers. Take a little while. Yes, all local beers. If you guys don't know about the craft beer scene here in Miami, I think we have 12 or 13 breweries, but in Florida, I think we have like 500. Christian, what do we got here? We got all local breweries for craft and barbecue and craft. Oh, you have all local breweries all the way we lead up to here the g13 which is not a local brewery but it's 420 smells just like weed delicious but no cbd and then you have the guinness which you got to have in a brewery so because 420 was like two days ago we're trying that oh that was quick let me try this really fast mm. i mean you smell it it's straight up thc <laughs> <laughs> no but there's no thc in this right no 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 it's, it's intentional. There is THC in it. Now you're going to be really hungry. You're going to go order a lot of food. <laughs> see how that works? I see how that works. Munchies, munchies. <laughs> no, but it's very light on the hops. It's not too hoppy like an IPA, you know? It's amazing. It's very good. You know what? Let's go back to the kitchen really fast. All right. We're ready? We're ready? Yeah, we'll pull it out right now. Right. It's literally just like popping out. So, what'd you add to it? Oh, just butter. Butter and thyme. We have our smoked brisket juice. That's the same sauce, right? Smoked brisket juice. US. Without our house sauce, it's just a reduction of the brisket juice we get from smoking the brisket. All right, guys, we're going to the back to see the gator. They're smoking it tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Oh, baby, look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at the gator. Sitting in the barn. See you later, alligator. Tell us what you have in here. It's a full gator. We got a eight foot gator. And this guy is... Eight feet? Eight feet, yeah, he's eight feet. I mean, he's like... He's laid out. There he is. That's insane. Yep. 
So what is he in? Just like some... This is a brine. A brine. Uh, so we basically got in there, yeah, we got the oranges and lemons, but we got uh, a lot of the Zatarans and the uh, Creole type mixes, uh, that kind of spice, that kind of stuff. So yeah, he'll stay in there for uh, 18 hours and we start smoking tomorrow. So 18 hours. Uh, so pork juice from the ribs we make every day. Pork chop, apples and mustard jam. Perfect. And that is it. Dinosaur rib, pork chop, filet mignon, brisket, sides, beer. All of it. I love your place, dude. Love it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's time to eat now. Let's eat. So Anthony, what do we got here? Uh, basically we have a few of our signature dishes here. Right here, which is my favorite, is the dinosaur beef rib. A couple pounds of meat and a nice bone. We have also the New York strip. Have it any way you like, uh, temperature wise. But what we do is we actually do baste it, cast iron. And we also have the pork chop with our apple chutney jam. And we also have our crispy ribs, St. Louis ribs. And they're all, it's all great. I can just keep going on and on and on. But, um, but yeah, the beef, the dinosaur beef rib, speed up shit, pork chop. Hey Jason, you ready? I'm ready for this. All right, I mean, so we got a nice spread in front of us, but the wings look good, right? The wings look amazing. So the wings have a nice little crust, right? Yep. It's like, white Alabama sauce. The white Alabama? Alabama. Alabama white sauce. Mayonnaise. Looks like a, like a cheese, right? Mayonnaise and vinegar. Let's do this. Let's do this. Mm hmm. Mm. Another crust, though. Mm. So the smoke for two hours, then flash fry before you get it. Mm. I was going to say, it's smoky. Yeah. I mean, we're not. It's even though it's smoke. Mm -hmm. It's not dried or anything. It's not dry at all. It's completely moist. Mmm. Really nice flavors inside here. This is yeah. so different. Some citrus, some thyme. The mayonnaise really brings it out. The mayonnaise, yeah, yeah, of as course. As it is, right? I mean, mayonnaise can't go wrong with it, right? Mm-hmm. Look at that. Oh. Mmm. These are some real wings. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is so tasty. This sauce. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Is there some sort of citrus uh, salt that you have on top of it? It's a, it's a actually a rub. A rub? House rub. It has a little bit of uh, so it does have a, a, it does have a citrus note in it. So what's next? So right now we have here our smoked and then flash fried ribs. We call them our crispy St. Louis ribs. We smoke those for four hours and then we cool them down purposely. Cut them to order and then we flash fry those as well. Interesting, Louis barbecue is just like a whole different type of barbecue in this whole. It's good to see that he's incorporating here and still putting his style on it, nevertheless. I'm going to understand that this is their cornbread crumble. So they sprinkle this on top. Nice crispy sensation for texture, especially when you bite into those ribs. So these are like the ribs I would get like at all these um, smaller places in the south, down south, right? Yeah. Like the baby back ribs. The style, the style. Yeah, so basically, the, the baby backs come off the vertebrae, then they're cut. And what's left over is the spares, which are attached to the belly. So the spares, or the St. Louis, which you're going to eat, have more fat on them, and the baby back's a little more lean. Right. So you're going to have St. Louis, not some fat. You hit that fryer, the fat and the oil. Ah, it's great. Check this out. It just falls apart. Oh my gosh, just that. like that? Oh, it's so tender. Oh. It's like dribbling. It's like, oh, it's, it's like, like caramelized, huh? Yeah. Okay. Dip it in that, dip it in that sauce. Dip it in the sauce? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He says it gets exceedingly better. It gets better. <laughs> he was not lying. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, it's a toss up. Who, you know, some people like those ribs better, some people like those wings better. It's always a toss up. Which one do you like mm. better? Mm -hmm. Really, what it is? Where you go? You go with the ribs? I personally go with the ribs. Oh, man. This, what is this? What is this? That's the cornbread crumble. So we make fresh cornbread every day. Oh. Twice a day. Oh, wow. And basically, it really does. You take the cornbread and you put it in a Robocoop, which is like a blender. Right. Mm -hmm. And we take Parmesan cheese, throw it over the top, and we lay it out on a pan, and then we toast it in the oven. And then we crumble it up. Cut it with this one. Dude, I would have had a, a dozen. Easy. Yeah. Easy yeah. dozen yeah. here. Yeah, I'm a big rib guy. You know, when I go to some barbecue spots, like down style competitors, usually is what I get, but not this style, obviously. Not even this. What are we talking about? It just resembles it, right? I've never had ribs with that cornbread crumble before. Mm. It's just yeah. simple things that just blows it out of the water, right? Mm -hmm. sure there you go, you dip it. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> double dip it. It's, like uh, it's okay it's now. In the milk. <laughs> perfect. It's perfect. Is there anything left in it? Of course. 
<laughs> it'll be an injustice if I didn't clean the bone, right? I mean, it'll be sad, actually. You have to. We'll sit down. Like a graveyard, man. <laughs> nice. mm. Mm. Let's cool it down with oh. some deviled eggs. Deviled eggs. I have a little bit of rib meat in there. Oh my god. With our house sauce. Uh, with the crackling, I should say. Chicharrones. Chicharron. And a little mustard dill. Oh, Everybody get one? Everybody get one. Oh man. Ooh, it has that sauce in it. It has a sauce in the there. Orjuna, right? It's like mm -hmm. a gourmet shot. Mm hmm. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Chicharron. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Oh, but the sauce. <laughs> mm. It's all about the textures, you know? Mm hmm. Yeah, we know what meat tastes like, we know what eggs taste like, but it always adds another element just to just yeah. take it over. It's like barbecue eggs. That's what this is. That's what it is. Barbecue what eggs. Like, it just melts oh. oh my gosh, do I have this, the last one or do you want it? You no, take you it down. Uh, you meat for me, it. <laughs> You're sharing something here? <laughs> Some people don't know to eat that fat, but that's good, right? That's just, I know. Yeah, but it's that's good. good. <laughs> Guess we're gonna have to do it like this, right? You're gonna use your hands? Uh, you know what, I use, I use my hand, I use my hands. Just gonna hold it up just like that. Like that, look at this. Beautiful. The beautiful beef Love works. the crust. Taste that peppery bark throughout. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That make your eyes close, right? Oh my gosh. Huh. Mm. With that. The bark. Mm, the meat. The smoke ring. Mm -hmm. The flavor. But it's not like over, over, you know, sometimes some barks can be so mm -hmm. outrageous, right? It's subtle, it's nice, but it's flavorful. Yeah, it's, it's nice. done well, it's precisely done. It's like caramelized, man. This is the best part about this. Let's try the mac and cheese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is usually a side dip, right? This is a side dip. So this also has uh, the breadcrumbs on top, right? Yeah, the same corn breadcrumb. Yeah. The pan fagata, but it's mm. uh, taking to a whole new level. Four cheeses. Oh my gosh. Bacon. One of the nice cheeses, the gruyere. I was going to say, there has to be gruyere in here. Four cheeses, you said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's good. I could see this going with everything, pretty much. It's nice and creamy. We also have a baby back mac, so we put some baby back rib meat. The rib meat and the baby back. <laughs> Combination here. I, I, this is why you serve it together, right? Yeah, look at this. Mm -hmm. oh. Wow. So oh, good. Oh. It's like the best mac and cheese I've had. Yeah? Ever. Mm -hmm. This combo right here, though, okay. this beef rib, the best. That's fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! So what is that ricotta? Ricotta. Yep. Look at this. So the fingling potatoes are roasted, and so the ricotta cheese. It's a good bite. Yeah, a very simple but very good. Bite. So, good. Yeah. so much action flavor going mm -hmm. on inside there. Ricotta. It's a good bite. Mm. Amazing bite. <laughs> That's nice with the steak. I love all the touches here. I love the potato. Love the potato. I love this. Mm -hmm. I mean, the sides thus far, I mean, the meat is one thing for itself. It's excellent. Mm -hmm. The sides complement pretty much all the, you know, the pork, the beef, the ribs. You got the potatoes, fingerling potatoes with the cutter. You got the mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so I'm finishing this plate. <laughs> you eat a lot. Dude, I eat a lot. I love food. This is the robust porter from Winwood Brewing. Like I said before, they have local craft beers in Miami and Florida. This is amazing. Because you're going to have this. Okay, okay. <laughs> Beer and barbecue always go well together. Mm, that's so good. Beautiful these carrots are. All right, I'm no! no! It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Vegetables have never been this exciting, right? It's so exciting. It's it's creamy. It's the, the honey, though, yeah. it's sweet. Mm -hmm. Carrots are naturally sweet, too. Mm -hmm. So, intensive guys. So, smoked, yeah. roasted, caramelization. Like, come on, exactly. Like that. That's it. Wow. Tender to the touch. Tender. You gotta give that credit, man. <laughs> That's excellent. Oh, this one's all and mine. I know you like the dino ribs, but this is this this also steps on the pedestal. Mm -hmm. Brisket always is the winner. Wow. Mm. A piece of the carrot. What I love about it is there's so many flavors and textures at the same time. You know? A yogurt place, right? Mm. Oh, that? Pistachio nuts. Yeah, I'll definitely finish this. <laughs> mm hmm. 
So good. Mm. Perfect. Lastly, we're doing the 16 ounce New York strip and the pork chop. Oh, this looks so good. So delicious. Everything it looks so juicy. Oh, look Tastes at that. Like that nice apple uh, chutney on top. So it's like, a, it's like an apple jam, right? Mm. Mm. Apple and pork is always a winner. Mm -hmm. I wasn't worried about this. I mean, I love the contrast and flavor there. Mm -hmm. Really good. Oh, wow. Yeah. Love the crust as well. Mmm. It's cooked pretty good. But it's so moist. Mm -hmm. That's the color of a good loin right there. Super moist. Beautiful stuff. Again, nice crust. And this was pan seared and then thrown into the oven. Cast iron makes all the difference. Yeah, yeah. Nothing conducts heat quite like a cast iron. Yeah, so it stayed in the cast iron while it was in the oven, so it kept cooking as well on the bottom, right? It's amazing. Yeah, and it's natural juices and so forth. Mm -hmm. I just think Anthony does these little Easter egg hunts. It has like these little goodies there. That's apple jam, is it? It's coriander seed or mustard seeds inside that jam. Mm -hmm. So we, I love this because we have the fat right here, and yeah. then we have the meat. Nice and seared, right? Beautiful. So I personally like like this, like medium rare, right? And it's not too raw, it's not too bloody, right? Any good steak should have been medium rare. Uh, you know, I know people who like it super, super like a chancleta, you know, like super hard. Bam. There you go. Super fresh. Mm -hmm. It's just the herbs in them. Mm -hmm. Olive oil, the garlic. It is like a chutney. Mm -hmm. So chimichurri, what does it have? There's mint in here. The uh, secret in there is this. Basil, okay. <laughs> That's where the freshness comes from. Yeah, but it does remind me of like one of those uh, mint chutneys, yeah, cilantro chutney. It does chutney. look like that. But you get a nice Genovese, mm -hmm. which is basil. Taste from this. Mm. The layer of fat. The fat is, the fat is key. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll show everybody that. Look at that fat just jiggling. Are you shaking? Is that your natural? He needs a little bit of He's all in the mouth. I feel at this point in time. I'm gonna have good cheeks. <laughs> you guys, it's near your strip. With this? Yeah. Uh, yeah, my, yeah. A true is key. So, this is our chocolate pecan pie with a little bit of uh, a nice ice cream on top, vanilla. And this is our Nutella banana pudding. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And Nutella whenever, banana pudding? Whenever we get together, Nutella is always the theme. Yeah. yeah yes. It, it's part of it. It's part of it. I expect Every time we eat, we have Nutella. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> It's ridiculous. I expect to hear his comments. They change it to Nutella. They're coming. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you want to do first? Um, let's try the pie. And this, this Nutella, I think it's going to be the score. I think so. Because I'm seeing layers inside their cake. What do you got inside of the Nutella? Bananas and the uh, Nilla wafers. Actually, regular Nilla wafers. So they're layered like a trifle, right? Yeah, kind of. Oh, it's, it's like really novel. Bourbon chocolate Bourbon chip chocolate pecan, chocolate pie. pecan pie. He's using bourbon. I mean, it's not a barbecue place, place without bourbon, right? Of course. Always. He just carries the flavor. <laughs> Alright, crush it. Oh man, so decadent. Mm -hmm. right. You got that chocolate inside here, that warm pie with that cool ice cream. It's like hot and cold sensation. It's like, it's a sensation going on there. Should I just get in here and yeah, just grab this guy? Oh, the crust. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Mm. sweet. Super sweet. Blueberry vanilla. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is the perfect bite. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Home run. It's called a blue run, sir. I've never used it before, and my fish guy sent it to me. It's like smoke, so I don't want to be doing it more. Do you So, tomorrow. No, not today, not today. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's too good. Barbecue and craft is the place. Oh my goodness. So it's like multiple layers there. Yeah. Oh my god. It's good. You did it away, Beth. There you go. Oh wow. The banana is the ultimate foodie. Perfect. That's good. Mm. Yeah. Hey, happy. <laughs> this is good. Yeah. So you get a nice little there's the Nutella inside there, the Nutella, wafers, the crunch, water. the cream. Bananas. Yeah. You have the incorporation of fruit. Mm -hmm. Because people tend to grow bananas all the time. 
it's great that you put them in inside. Yeah. And it's soothing. You know, like if you have all that stuff, you have something like this. It's but it's not too thick of dentella, right? No, it's no. not. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's quite tacky. It's yeah. actually most like mousse like. Yeah. Very ethereal. I like yeah. the nature. And airy. It's so, so, so good. Let me jump in here. Oh. So you got what well, you say? You just got banana in here. Yeah, the perfect soup, bro. Banana, yeah, yeah, the perfect soup. No, yeah. So I basically do the meats. I do the dino beef rib, the chicken. The so what are we doing here? This is uh, from Old Smoky. They make Gloomshine in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. They're a really good place. But this is the soft caramel whiskey, which is nice at the end of a nice heavy barbecue meal. Nice little sip of this afterwards. Don't shoot it. Sip it. Enjoy. You save it. Sip. This is so good. I mean, yeah, it's alcohol, but it's like so delicious. This yeah, would be it gives you really brilliant inside of a dessert. I get like a, like a chocolatey note. And then, kind of like a butterscotch. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a butterscotch. butterscotch. <laughs> caramel. Caramel. Oh. Yeah, I can smell the like caramel. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it smells like a dessert. I mean, you like it is like a butterscotch. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. Dude, I could drink the whole bottle of this. <laughs> <laughs> Only barbecue it's and scary. craft, so you get this good stuff. Yeah, yeah, right? Cheers, yeah, cheers. Yeah, thanks for, you guys, yeah, thanks for coming. Awesome thank you so job. much, nice thank you. Guys. Thank you for stopping by, I appreciate it. Not a problem. Man. We had fun Amazing. Today. Great food, ribs, meats, mm -hmm. the desserts, the scotch. Yeah? Yeah. Amazing. Barbecue and craft. Barbecue and craft right here in Brickell, right under the plaza, Brickell Avenue, I think it's... 947 Brickell Avenue in the corner. <laughs> Perfect. Can't miss us. So right here, we have the window, La Ventanita. You ever been to the window? Pretty much uh, any Cuban establishment doing pastries, you need to have this window, correct, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. And oh, Queens. This is the place you come to, you get a quick bite, you know, croquette, empanada, you know, pastelito, and some coffee, and you go to work. But we're not doing that today, we're just gonna have a coffee, and then we'll go inside to the kitchen. Just get the room, you know, it smells everything. Nice fresh pastries. Jason is ordering for me, huh? <laughs> no, you gotta order, you gotta order. So when you ordering croquettes? Two or three? Yeah, we get a, a mix, right? So here they have a variety of croquettes. So they have three different ones. They also have some empanadas, some pasteles. They also have tequeño. So again, we're in Dorazuelas, or Dorao is like the second largest Venezuelan community outside of Venezuela. So we have that as well. And then we have chicharron. So we'll get a few of these and we'll also get all coffees, all four coffees. Okay, I would love um, to try your croquetas, maybe uh, those croquetas. Um, two pastelitos. Uh, you want tequeños? Tequeños. All right, give me two tequeños. So, two each. Can I have one of the chicharrones, please? And that's it. Thank you. Well, as of mira, también vamos a agarrar aquí unas empanadas, uno de carne, uno de jamón y queso. Sí, ponga todo ahí. Y también todos los cafés, vamos a hacer todos los cafés. Y colada, eh, regular café, eh, cortadito, colada. y café con leche, los cuatro. Yeah. So right now we're gonna do the four different coffees, right? The regular, like espresso, cafecito. Then you have the colada, which is like a triple, right? Then you have a eh, cortadito, which is like 80% coffee, 20% milk. Then you have café con leche, which is the opposite, like 20% coffee, 80% milk. It's amazing, it's gonna be good. Lots of sugar though. So Jason, you ready? I am ready. So what do you want to try first? I definitely want to try the croquetas first, man. Okay, so it's two different croquetas. I guess it's a surprise. I think it's a ham and cheese and there's a uh, chorizo one, oh, right? Oh, and then over here we have a pastel de guayaba. We have pan de bono, so this is Colombian. And then over here we have tequeño, this is Venezuelan, right? Over here... The beautiful chicharrones. Chicharrons, I think we should... Lime on top. A lime. It's a lime. It's a lime. It's always a lime. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Quite good. Mm. I'm crackling. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you need to put the lime. Cubans are known for their pork, right? Oh yeah. They're John, right? Mm -hmm. I crackle on top of everything besides. Oh man, nice and meaty, juicy, the fat. That crack. I get so much pleasure out of it. That was wonderful. Okay. And this is ham and cheese, right? Ham and cheese. This is ham and cheese. So this one is the... That's chorizo. Chorizo. So again, this is the home to the longest croquette in the world, or largest, right? Longest in the world. Longest in the world, six feet. Wow. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have the chorizo. Mm -hmm. This is good, I'm not... Beef flavor in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
ham and cheese. This is what I came for, you know. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Creamy on the inside, crusty on the exterior. Exactly, nice and like mushy, good. right? Nice little chunks of the ham juice. Chorizo inside there? Mm -hmm. So good. I love this. This is the traditional one, right? Ham and cheese. Uh, it's very simple, but delicious. Nice crust on the outside, golden brown inside, nice and soft. Again, nice pieces of the ham inside there. Check mm -hmm. that out. Nice chunks, right? I love the ham and cheese, but chorizo, that's my favorite. Pretty much, right? Mmm. Chorizo is amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Chorizo is my favorite. It's like not so spicy, but just right. Slight bit of smoke inside there also. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Oily. But that's what it's about, right? Eat so it. it's about. Eating the croquettes. You don't think it'd be baked, you know? All right, we're going to We're gonna do a little U-turn now. We're going to Venezuela right now. And the reason why there's so many planes is because the airport is right there. Just so you guys know, Doral's next to the airport. Have a Kenya, Whatever yeah. piece you want. So this is Venezuela. Oh my mm. god. Mm -hmm. Mm. This is so good. The dough. Mm. This one, the combination of the textures and this is like that. Mm -hmm. okay. Cheese stick, right? Mm. Mm. So this is the traditional one. They also have a guava and cheese. So they have that Cuban flavor, you know, it that fruit. It has like a flaky, buttery texture. Mm -hmm. Like melting in your mouth. Yeah. This is so good. Please. Yeah. Oh wow, that's good. Really good. Two of these on a snack and you're just hungry and peckish. This mm -hmm. is really good, right? Yep. If you ever go to a Venezuelan wedding, uh -huh. you have a million of these. Before the food comes out, you just have them. Keep oh, popping them. Oh my God. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're so good. This with like some vodka. <laughs> that's it. I can't get enough of this pork. Mm. <laughs> Fajo. All right, so coffee. Oh. This is. What is it? This is basically an espresso. It's cafecito. Okay. Next to it, we have a double espresso, which is a colada. Oh my this is what I drink every single day. You do? Yeah. I so, love the single. You have the single? Okay. Strong, huh? Oh my god. Yeah, lots of sugar, but really good. This is gonna wake you up. So next to it, we have two more. This is cortadito, and this is uh, café con leche. Okay. So this one's like. 80% milk, 20% coffee, that's the opposite. So 80% coffee, 20% milk. This is actually an easier one to drink. Let's try it. After that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially after that. that. That one's strong, I mean. That, that is like, yeah, I'm going to the airport. This is my second of the day. Oh my God. The only problem is the sugar, you know? It really, it's a lot of sugar, but it's really nice. Oh my God, this is so nice That's the one. Mm -hmm. Comforting. This is a comforting. Not my favorite, you know, just a lot of milk. Okay, so this is wake me up, and this is soothe me throughout the day. Mm -hmm. All right, so we still have a few things left, right? Palm de bono, cheese bread, right? Palm de bono. So the way we do this, open it up. Oh yeah. So if you ever been to Brazil, it's very similar, right? Just cheese yeah, bread. Pretty much, this is their version of it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I love it. I, I mean, I can sit down and have this cup of passion fruit juice, guava juice, maybe mm -hmm. a coffee, grabbing a soup on this on the side. Exactly. It's just a multi-purpose bread. It's really nice. I mean, it's really nice to do it with the coffee, but too. There you go. You know? Mm-hmm. The sweet and the savory. Mm. This is nice. That's amazing. Mm. Really, really nice. So it's crumbly. It. And the cheese, yeah, it's rich, mm -hmm. buttery. I love this. You ready for that one? You want to break it open, right? Yeah, break it open. Ready? Go. Are you ready for that? Oh, yeah. This is all what I've been waiting for. It's good. It's a lime. This is one for a smile on your face. This first thing in the morning with a cup of coffee. You're good to go. So that's Paul de Bono. I, I, I can't oh. wait to try this. This is so good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The guava? What's this? So flaky. The butter, so rich. Incredible layers here. Mmm. That guava for me is straight up Cuba. Yeah. yeah. Even though they have the guava fruit all over the Caribbean, but for me it's a very Cuban it's thing, also right? It's been like the number one pastry for me, sweet pastry. Mm -hmm. This Cuban pastry is the like guava. This and cream cheese is amazing. Together, yeah, the combo. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Oh, we got the empanadas. We still have empanadas. So we have two empanadas, we have meat, and we have um, uh, chicken. All right, so we have. The carne molida, right? So the minced meat. Minced meat, uh, this is minced uh, beef and chicken. Try one. Oh, and you get a nice mince inside there. Look at that. Onions, maybe a touch of olives. Oh, it looks amazing. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Now we're talking, boy. So tasty. Mm-hmm. There's so many flavors in here. It's, mm-hmm. not, it's not skimping. It's just so ramped packed with a lot of meat. Yeah, yeah. So good, right? So you have um, the olive in here as well. Mmm. Mm. What do you got there? It feels a little sweet too, right? What is this yeah. one? This is a spinach one. Ooh, spinach. Oh, so oh yeah. I could easily eat this. I don't mm-hmm. usually trade off meat, but this is good. Yeah. This is so good. Mm-hmm. So fresh. Yeah. I spin a baby spinach inside there, cooked down. Man, it's hard to choose which one to have. I take some of this and I put it on top here now. <laughs> now I have meat and spinach. Erwin, mm. you have to have at least one of each when you come here. Yeah, because I think that's fair. One of each, well, there's 10 actually. No, <laughs> ten different you know, products. so when I don't fast in the mornings, I'll get my coffee and the spinach. If I'm working out, I'll just get this one because this is like, you know, pure, you know, vegan option, right? Wow, I love this. This is good. This is really good. I love this. My boy over here doesn't like coffee. I don't trust anybody who doesn't like coffee. I'm here for the, <laughs> I'm here for the pork. Yeah, right? The empanadas. Mm. Oh, let's go, Lala. It's perfect. Hey. Amazing. Thank you guys for coming. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Kitchen? Kitchen? The kitchen. Let's do some eggs. Let's go. David, David. un placer. Un placer. Encantado. Okay, so we're in the kitchen. We're going to do some eggs. Wow. Huevos. Huevos. Mira esto. Look, look at the bacon. Tostones. Hola, ¿qué tal? Mira todo ese pan. Déjame ver todo ese pan. La panera aquí. <laughs> okay, David. Listo, vamos, vamos. Vamos, vamos. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. I love this. In la cocina. ¿Qué hace ahí? Oh, wow. Vegetales. You want peppers? Wow. She's doing a lot of peppers here. Yeah, so she's opening up the green pepper and the red pepper, taking out all the seeds. En caso que hay un poco de, de picante ahí, ¿no? Yeah, so there's a little bit of heat in this one. Una Miami. Una tortilla Miami. Tortilla Miami. Okay, es maduro, cebolla y papita. Okay. So it's maduro, so sweet plantains? Yeah, sweet plantains, onions, onions and french fries. Perfect, yeah. french fries. All mashed up. So fast. Wow. It's like a big omelet. Papita Juliana. It's the best steak sandwich in Miami. Best steak sandwich in Miami? Sir. Pango Biste. Look at that. That's called the Pango Biste steak sandwich. Looks amazing. So many things going on in this kitchen. Over here they're making tons of eggs. We got some meat. Over here we have some bread. We have uh, bacon. We have tostones. We have french fries. We have maduros. It doesn't stop. Wow, mira eso. The last thing we're doing here is the Cuban sandwich. So we have uh, a jamón. Okay. Okay. So it's jamón, roasted pork, uh-huh. queso, queso, mostaza, pickles. Okay. Perfect. ¿Qué estamos haciendo? Croquetas. Croquetas. Vale. De jamón y queso. Oh wow. Perfect. Amigo, gracias. Muy amable. Hasta luego. All right, let's go. Gracias, gracias. David, gracias. Oye, gracias a ti. No, de nada. Gracias, amiga. Super hectic back here. Amazing. Just saw the roquetas. I saw maduros. Saw the whole thing. Let's go eat. Okay. This is it. We have four different things to try. You have to try first the Cuban sandwich. Then we have the pan con bistec, so the steak sandwich with all the fritas. Love it. I love those fries. They add so much texture to the dish. Oh, they're so amazing. They're so nice and yummy. Look, you just grab a few of them. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then we have the French toast made with Cuban bread. Love it. I love that so dish. good. I love that they use Cuban bread. Mm-hmm. And then over here, we have the tortilla. So tortilla is like basically a scrambled egg. Pretty much. You know, Spanish style Spanish tortilla, style, right? Spanish style omelette, yeah. Yeah, so I think there's a mix of stuff in here. I don't know exactly what's in there. inside there. I'm probably seeing some cheese, maybe some spring onions. Mm-hmm. Some good stuff. So how do we start? Sandwich? Let's go to sandwich. Let's pick this up. <gasps> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Look, Look at that, guys. Look at this. Monster. What a sandwich. Look at the piece of meat just coming out. Pan un biste. I love this. Nice. Oh, it's falling apart. Let's go. Mm. 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 Well, 
it's not super heavy. Mm. It's manageable. The stick mm -hmm. turns yep. on you really nicely. Mm -hmm. Dissolves in the mouth. Yeah. Crispiness of the, uh, of the French fries or the fritas, right? Mm -hmm. Mixed with the onion in there as well. You got tomato coming out. That's freshness from the mm -hmm. tomatoes, onions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are best like that. Mm. Good stuff, boy. Mm. Amazing stuff. I love the Cuban bread. Mm -hmm. Nice and fluffy, right? Yeah. I think they, they probably press it also. They press it and they put butter. It's plancha, la plancha. La plancha. Yeah, that's it. Mm. What a sandwich, huh? Love this. And obviously, if you want to, you can add your own egg on top, you can mix it. You can get into it, right? Avocados, mm -hmm. you pretty much like, right? Exactly. This a winner for sure, man. There you go, bro. Thanks, man. No problem. Going to the omelet next? Let's do it. And now, we have to the omelet. two forks? Yeah. Oh, this omelet is really big. This could feed more than one person, man. Oh, this is a huge omelet. So we cut it in half, right? Just yeah. move over to that tomato. Like that. Oh, and, yeah. and then we just cut slices. It's almost like a pizza, right? I just cut slices. Potato, inside it also, yeah. potato too? Yeah. Some Look at that beautiful. Peppers inside there also. Oh, most definitely. It's a huge, huge tortilla. Oh, man, man. This is this all protein, you know? All protein. Mm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, sweet, my doodle. Sweet plantains. Sweet plantain in there. Mmm. Oh, wow. I love this. Look at those plantains. It's amazing because you think it's savory. Yeah. They hit you with that surprise, you know? Very much. Yeah. It's really an ingenious idea. Mm -hmm. Plantains are always in abundance. But just how nice and nicely cooked those plantains are. Yeah. I love this, David. This is amazing. This is good stuff. Oh my god. This is so good. So good, right? So, so good. What are you doing to me, man? <laughs> I know, it's too good. It's too good, this is too good. But you have to try this when you come here. I would we'll definitely eat this whole thing. Mm -hmm. My first time having a tortilla or a scrambled egg with the sweet plantains. Game changer. You know what this would be really nice with? Maybe something like a zesty salsa on top also. Oh yeah. To bring a little bit of vibrancy. This would be really good. Like a tomato salsa or something? Oh, something like that. So, yeah. Tomato base, yeah. Okay, you know what? Let, let's jump onto the one thing you wanted to really try. Oh yeah, the Cuban sandwiches. Cuban sandwiches. This brings me back to my days when uh, I was working at Karu and Wai with my chef Alberto Cabrera. Oh yeah? He's Cuban, he introduced me to these. And since then I've been in love. So what do we have? We have uh, roasted pork. I believe it's a uh, pork inside there. We have uh, ham. We have pickles, we have uh, gurria cheese. And of course I do for Cuban bread pressed under the plancha. It depends on the, the place. People do it differently, different cheeses, right? By all means. All right, let's do it. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, oh gosh. the mustard and the pickle. It's just the simple things that make a Cuban sandwich good, right? Mm -hmm. Gotta have the mustard, the pickles inside there. And you need to have the bread. Mm -hmm. You got a plancha, right? Got nice, crispy nice and too. toasty. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and it's still very fluffy on the inside, oh, very airy. It's super good. Pickles just, you know, remind you that I'm, the, and I'm, I'm there, I'm there. Yeah, like, this is different. This is not a regular sandwich. Ham is really super fresh. Mm, amazing. You guys want a cookie? David's been here has me trying Cuban bread for the first time. This is like the ultimate pile up. Mm, mm, mm. I'm in love with Cuban, Cuban <laughs> bread. No, this is so good. Mm -hmm. And right here we have the abuela French toast, so grandma, grandma's French grandma toast. Makes it. Yes, this is how grandma makes it. And I, what I'm seeing here is the Cuban bread. Mm -hmm. the tradition, in traditional way, I've seen toasted coconut on top there, so yes. that's really good. The powdered sugar. And of course, we have the, the guava. So the guava syrup. Yeah. That's amazing. Put it all on, man. Put it on, man. It's not ketchup, it's guava. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> We're so excited. This is going to be epic. <gasps> just like that? Nice and fluffy? Like, just like that. Just okay. Like Mmm. Pour one up. Okay. The simple things are just taken overboard. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Hey, the guava. Oh, guava. I've never had French toasted guava. Neither. Oh my gosh. So good. A piece of banana? Mm-hmm. Chop it. I'm gonna like dip it in here. 
Oh man. The guava syrup. It's just super, super sweet. I mean, I'll rank this my favorite guava, um, I guess, like, really thing good. ever. This is really good. Mm -hmm. Let's just look at this. Mm. Mm. Love it, dude. Mm -hmm. Amazing. The coconut just tastes through the board. French toast with coconut. My all new favorite now. Some brandy, the bread with the guava, and it has coconut, like really country coconut. Oh my god. The immense flavor that this has is perfect. Cuban breakfast, what do you think? Amazing, huh? Amazing, I mean, it feels so good. Yeah, I'm I sure. Mean, we're doing this on a Saturday. I could, I could do this tomorrow. I just take the whole day off. I know. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, obviously very filling, right? A lot of carbs, a lot of starch here. You know, starting off with the ventanita, you have to do that. Empanadas, croquettes, pastelitos, you got tequeños, you also have pan de bono, and all the coffees, a must do at any Cuban restaurant, and then come inside. The chicharrones, man. The chicharrones as well. Oh, yeah. yeah, chicharrones are amazing. And then we came inside. Those guys are really fast paced in the back there. They're doing it yeah. super fresh for you. I mean, just take a look at the beautiful uh, pango miste, pango Cuban sandwich. sandwich. We got the, the Cuban French toast, mm -hmm. abuelita. Abuelita. And as well as our uh, omelette. And there's the Miami one. Oh, yeah. The Miami so, one. Man, this has a plantain in it. Yeah. And I had so much fun today. Awesome, man. I'm super happy you guys came. They're going back to Trinidad right now. I'm taking them to the airport, but oh, yeah. I had to show them Cuban breakfast in Miami here at Sergio's. Since 1975, they have six locations. This is the one in Doral. You must visit Sergio's when you come to Miami. And that's it, guys. 96 hours with Chef Jason Peru, Candace Mohan. It was epic. Haitian, Cuban, and Asian barbecue. We did it, bro. We did it. We did it. We did it. Thank you so much. Listen, Thank you so much, I, man. I, I put on some weight. I put on some weight. I no, did put on some good, weight. Bro, you're good. <laughs> Everybody who's watching this video right now, listen, David's going to chain you up when it comes to your country. He's going to be let's go eat, man. Let's just go eat. He wakes you up in the morning, late at night. But he's a good soul. And of course, I do have fun with him in Trinidad and also in Miami. And I mean, I can't wait until we hook up to do the next one, brother. It's going to be amazing. For sure, bro. Always, man. Hey, you truly are an authentic, genuine person. I truly appreciate your time. Hey, guys, when you go to Trinidad and Tobago, definitely look up Chef Jason Peru. Buy his book. It's the number one seller in the Caribbean. It's an island, boy. It's an island, boy. I'm just trying to make it. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next one somewhere here around the world. Thank you.